Hey guys, it's Jack Fang hitchhiking around the world and I have another vlog for you guys. Today I'm going to be hitchhiking to uh, to Ecuador. Um, in this video in the end, I'll be at the border, well I'll be in uh, Ecuador, but I'll be in Tolcan, which is a border city of Ecuador. Um, right now I'm currently at Tangua, which is close to the border of Ipiales. It's about 30 kilometers, I think, from Pasto. Uh, Pasto is a bigger city, as my, some people might know. So as you probably know, there's a truck driver protesting going on, so it's very hard to hitch a ride. Um, people line up for four hours uh, or five hours, depending on the line. Vamos, vamos. Uh, no, no gas ahora. It's rare that a female picks me up, especially by herself, but it happens occasionally. Um, so I get a ride just by, sometimes you get a ride with mothers, with kids, but um, it's more rare for me to have a single woman pick me up. Um, it's also because there's less single woman driving in South America. Um, it's just the statistics from what I've seen. In the United States, everybody drives, but here, I've, like, um, it's very rare to see a single woman driving by herself across um, from one city to another city. Um, they might be doing this in the, in, within the city, but when you go from point city A to city B, uh, by herself, that's a lot more rare. So, a little information about the road. I'm on road number 25. This is considered the Pan American Highway for many overlanders. And this highway transports you from Pasto to Ipiales, which will get you to the border of Ecuador. It's probably the most common way. On my left side, on my southeast, uh, there's a national park called Plantas Medicinales. Uh, here it's a national park for important plants and medicines that they protect. I'm at the state called Nariño. This is pretty much the most west state of Colombia. Con los rasgos, claro, los rasgos físicos y la manera de hablar del colombiano es muy diferente a uh -huh. la tuya. ¿Sí? Tú no tomas. ¿Qué? Tú no tomas... Uh... ¿Alcohol? No, 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 no. Uh, gente de, de colombiano. No. ¿Qué tú tomas? ¿Qué cuál tipo de gente? Gente de, de, de otro país, de afuera, de extranjero. ¿Y tú sabes? Sí, claro. <laughs> Es fácil reconocerlos. Okay, sí, sí. Claro. Yo por, 
pero yo pensé que tú eras japonés o eras chino por allá, pero dices que eres canadiense. Sí, canadiense. Canadiense. So she says she only picks up foreigners and never picks up local uh, hitchhikers. Um, and that's because she believes um, foreigner hitchhikers are less dangerous. Um, so that's why I got a ride. Um, thinking about that, I'm wondering what's going to happen to me if I hitchhike in East Asia, particularly in Japan, Korea, uh, China, Mongolia, all those places. I'm going to look like a local, so I'm quite interested on how I'm going to be treated as, or if I'm going to even be picked up in China from hitchhiking. Here in uh, South America, I am the foreigner. Doesn't matter where I go. North America, all the way to South America, I am the China man. Except in Brazil, I'm, a, I'm the Japanese man. No compré agua. Muchas gracias. Jack. Adiós. Cuídate. Got a ride to Pialas. From here I'm going to hit track to uh, pretty much Ecuador. Yo, what's up guys? I'm in fucking... No. Yo, what's up guys? I'm in Yipialas and from here we're gonna hitchhike to uh, Novicha. Frontera! Been a while since I hitchhiked with my, my passport, but I'm near a border so I might as well do that. Uh, having a passport is better than nothing, at least they'll think you're confident enough to be like legal. Um, I just don't want people thinking I'm being legal and shit. So having a passport at the very least, you know. Nice clouds. All the people with Ecuador trucks are not picking me up, man. Maybe it's hard to hitchhike in Ecuador. It's a nice valley to go down, though. It takes a very long time to walk. Fuck, I wish I had my kick scooter or my rollerblades. I gotta say, man, the, these roads are very scenic. I still Canadiense. Canadiense. I still yeah. Vale. Oh, esto no es lejos, oh, esto lejos, cam, cam, caminando. Es que usted, usted tiene que caminar hasta la frontera. Sí, sí. Sí. Yo arribo un poquito, pues. Muy bien, gracias. ¿Dónde tú vives? Yo vivo aquí en Ipiales. Oh, en, uh, pero hasta Ipiales? Este Ipiales, aquí es Ipiales, la frontera. Vale. Oh, it's a cemetery. Cementerio de Ipiales. Ah. Oh, it's a lejos con caminando. Sí. Hermano, vea, yo me voy por aquí para arriba. Sí, sí. Usted siga derecho esta. Okay, muchas gracias. Oh, esta Ipiales también. Acá es Ipiales, acá es el centro. Sí. Muchas gracias. Adiós. Got a ride closer to the border. Uh, maybe like a one minute ride. I said, I said anywhere and uh, he gave me the ride. He definitely saved me about 20 minutes of walking. So that's good. Ecuador!
Ecuador. Ecuador. Estoy dañado. Estoy dañado. ¿Qué? Estoy dañado. ¿Allá? Estoy parado. ¿No funciona? No, no funciona. Turcan. Almost there, man. Man, these are some beautiful views. Uh, except the guy peeing, but um, uh, other than that, it's some beautiful views that you see here. Uh, almost, almost at Ecuador. All the way from Canada, man. It's only a few more kilometers and I'll get to Ecuador. From there, Ecuador! Ecuador! Frontera! Did he just drive all the way here to take a piss? I, I don't know. But from here on, it's gonna be another 10 minutes, I think. Um, the sunset's over there. I got a couch surfing host in Tolkan today. So I'm gonna get there very quickly. Frontera. Frontera. Muchas gracias. O sea, usted viaja a, Ecuador, a Quito. Quito y pues a uh, um, Lima. A Perú dice. Y pues Cusco. Ma Machu Picchu. Y pues, uh, y pues Brasil. ¿Qué andas haciendo? ¿Solo de turista? Sí, turista. Estudiante, no mucho dinero. Normal de un estudiante. Sí. Ecuador. Sí. ¿Qué tú vives? ¿Qué tú haces por vida? ¿Qué ah. trabajas? ¿En canción? En Guinness. Pantalón, demos jeans de estos. Oh, pantalón. Y de dama. ¿Tú fabrica o vende? No. Banda de Bogotá. Ah, banda en Bogotá. Sí. Oh. Nos vamos para allá. ¿De ¿Sí? qué? Para allá vamos. ¿Tú vas Tolca? Sí. Yo voy Tolca también. Pero aquí, aquí lo demoran a usted. Se demora. Sí, sí. Porque hay, hay veces que se demora. Ok. Yo voy aquí, no te sí. preocupes. Yo... Y de ahí se, se va nomás ya. Sí. Gracias. Hasta todos. Okay, adiós. Adiós. Welcome to the border. Welcome to the border. So here's the border, and I'm gonna get my exit stamp. No. Gracias. This is how you enter Ecuador. You just walk. Here you are. Just take a while. Uh, okay. Is that guy pissing in the river? I think that guy is pissing in the river. And I'm I'm almost Ecuador. A few more meters. Fuck. Like 10 more meters. 15 more meters. Something like that. And I I'm gonna go to the immigration and get my entrance stamp. So that's probably a better idea.
So I got my stamp, now I'm gonna hitchhike to Tolkan, where uh, my couch surfing host is at. And uh, I'm just gonna keep walking until I get to Tolkan. It's about seven kilometers. Maybe a better way to do it is just right here. Tolkan! There's bright light here, so it's probably better to just try to get a ride here. And this is how you hitchhike your ride to Ecuador. Checking at the border is pretty easy and relaxing. Unlike the United States and Canada, here it's very relaxed. The cops don't really give a fuck. So I hitchhiked the ride to Tolkien. Woo! Fuck yeah! Ecuador! Adios, Colombia! This is how you hitchhike. They pick you up in the 4x4 uh, pickup club. It's quite easily. Oh. Wow. It's dark. You can barely see shit. But I'm on the back of a pickup truck and I'm describing what's going on. Uh, my bag's here. I'm sitting. Uh, it's very relaxed. I searched on QuickTweaky. You can hitchhike in Ecuador very easily. So, um, yeah. I think it's seven kilometers away, so it's a short ride. It's a bit chilly, but that's okay. It's fun. I love my life. He's trying to uh, contact, uh, I'm trying to contact my friend from Couchsurfing, but I don't have a phone in Ecuador. So I've been trying to signal him by using my phone to let him read the information that, that he just calls, uh, calls her. Um, so she said, he said in 10 minutes, I'll call her. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm, I'm right now in Ecuador in the back of the pickup truck. Adios. So far, it only took three minutes to hitchhike a ride at the border where all the police was at. So it's so easy to get a ride in Ecuador. Maybe because there's a lot of tourism here, so people are much more confident, and uh, this, maybe there's less drug trafficking. I don't know. Regardless, there's no uh, a truck driver protesting or lining up for five hours for gas um, here. So hopefully, it's going to be a lot better to hitch a ride. Um, I did get a hitch a ride. My first ride in Ecuador was under three minutes, so that's pretty fast. Zero. Nine six. Zero. Yeah. Nine, nine six nine nine nine. Oh four. Three seven. Yeah. Speak English. Yes. Awesome. Nice. Where are you from? Here, Ecuador. Oh, uh, where did you learn English? Because I like that. <laughs> awesome. Nice. What are you doing here? I'm traveling around the world. I started from Canada. Really? Aventon. Yeah. Yeah, that's New Das, Mexico, yeah. America Central. Just by, just by, 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 by ground. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola. ¿Cuál es tu nombre, Natalie? Natalie. Natalie, estoy con un amigo tuyo, un chinito. ¿Cuál, Couch surfing. What's your name? Chino. Jack Fang. Jack. Yo. Él está, ahorita acabamos de pasar Rumichaca. Le estoy llevando al hotel. Bueno, le estoy llevando a Tulcán. Yo me voy a un hotel. Tú lo puedes ir a ver. ¿Y le dejo ahí? Ya, perfecto, ya le mando para allá. Listo. Bueno, chao. All right, she says that if, if, you, if you can go to a university here, which is called UPEC. UPEC. Uh -huh. okay. That's the name of the university. Let me let okay. me talk with my friend if that is in my way.